idea of the piece is that uh, the tape um, that's playing, and we mic'd a piano um, and distorted the sound and then made the sound feed back so that, you know, you, you hit a note, and boink, and the sound that comes out is boink, 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 boink. And now Barry is playing the piano and the same process is going on. You get a kind of stereophonic landscape. The marvellous thing about the, the piece is that uh, you're half performer and half composer. I hope Peter doesn't mind that too much. Oh, well, that's definitely part of the idea of the piece. You know, I did compose uh, or write a p half of it on tape, but the rest is up to you. I think that, uh, you know, if what we call serious music or art music for, or whatever is going to survive, uh, then we must take, say, a little lead from, from the pop scene where uh, the uh, pop group is, in fact, a half uh, composer, half performer. The music's being relived, recreated all the time. Another thing about this piece is uh, the idea of repetition, you know, with, with um, feedback, is it seems to me that the whole of our society now is a kind of repetition. You know, you put up a building, you've got little windows repeated over and over and over, machines, everything is a repetition of little modules. Well, similarly in this piece, you play one sound and it repeats over and over. It's trying to reflect that idea. Really, we're both of us, I think, are trying to extend the piano. I, I don't think this music sounds like piano music. It isn't piano music. It's, it's uh, someone using a piano to perform on in a new way.